Here's how these work. If you're new here, we have seven tiers. Hashtag VII. Trash. These are dog shit characters. D. Bad characters. C. Mediocre characters. B. They're mediocre, but maybe they had a little bit of potential. You know? Or let's go C. They had potential. B. Kind of mediocre, but enjoyable. A. A phenomenal character. S tier. Ah, we love them. The Mr. Goat stands for Mount Rushmore greatest of all time. Only four characters can be placed in that top tier. We do that at the end. At the end of ranking all of these. Okay. I like Star Wars 1 through 3 as well. I think they're great. Your new empire. First character down here, right off the rip, is Abomination. Abomination is from the Incredible Hulk. Not gonna lie, Abomination looks sick. I'm gonna give it a C. Why? Because it deserves it. Abomination's coming back soon, but for now, nothing. Uh, the Ancient One. Whitewashed, bald-headed ass character, but for some reason, I like the character. I liked it a lot. It had some deep meaning. It had a lot of deep dialogue. I enjoyed it. B tier. Paul Rudd's amazing, right? Paul Rudd took a character that nobody thought he could play and made it super entertaining. I I'm still mad that Ant-Man didn't get small and go inside Thanos' ass and then make himself big again. Neither here nor there. I give him an A. Baby Groot. Well, fuck yourself. You think differently. Uh, Bruce Banner. Is the Hulk on here separately? Or is, the, is just Bruce Banner representing both of them? All right. Bruce Banner slash the Hulk. Easy S tier, right? Easy S tier. Black Panther. S tier. Nothing to say. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. It is literally the... Uh, probably hands down the best standalone Marvel movie that there is. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Paul Rudd is clu oh Paul Rudd and Clueless. I thought you said is Clueless. Uh, Bucky Barnes. Excuse me. Captain America. There's no, there's no need to have to be a conversation about it. Uh, Captain Marvel. I like Brie Larson a lot. Cheese Larson. She's in a movie called uh, Buying a Unicorn or some shit with Sam Jackson. Really weird, but I enjoyed it. Uh, Brie Larson in Between Two Ferns is really nice, too. I like Captain Marvel as a character. I didn't like the movie. The movie was weird. It had a lot of potential, though. I don't want to go B. I'll go A. Yeah, I'll put Captain Marvel in A. Hannibal could have talked his uh circle could have talked his circles around the flash. <laughs> really? Clooney as Batman Elite. I agree with you. Hashtag Clooney is Batman forever. I honestly want the whole movie T'Challa is Star Lord now. Oh yeah, that shit was that was solid. That was solid. The Collector. Listen. I'm going to give The Collector an A simply because of Benicio Del Toro's performance. I feel like The Collector had way more potential that we saw like come to fruition in What If. It's a great character we didn't see enough of. I really, 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 really love everything about The Collector. I genuinely do. Uh... Not that many appearances, but the things that I have collected could be its own thing. Hannibal is a Marvel villain. That'd be wild, actually. Hey, Crippy, you can do your own list. <laughs> I can't believe you disagreed with me. It's a shocker. Uh, Agent Coulson. A B. I didn't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They, uh, Coulson was in one movie. Hasn't been in shit since. But if it wasn't for Agent Coulson in the first Avengers movie, I mean, his his death played a crucial part in everything. So, Crossbones, 
C. I love the dude that plays him, but we, we didn't get enough. Dormammu. You know, Dormammu was also voiced by uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Be Benedict Camber, Camberpuss. Um, he also voiced Smog in The Hobbit. Schmo. Dormammu at any point could become a galactic threat. I don't think they'll ever let it happen. I, I would give Dormammu a B. That was a that was a huge shock for me, actually. A D for Dormammu? Yeah, I mean, that's what it starts with. Coulson's in more than one movie? He is in more than one movie, but, like, his impact didn't really take fruition until... The Avengers. Yeah, he helped, like, round everybody up, but... If he was in, if he would have made an appearance after his, his run with Agents of Shield, I'd give him an A. I like Phil Coulson, but Drax the Destroyer, easy A. What a phenomenal character. Lex Luthor, a Smallville elite. Uh, what? Uh, Ego, the Living Planet. I'll give a B. I wish he would have been a better character. Can't think of little buddy's name, but he's from Black Panther. I like him a lot. I'm going to give him a B. Uh, You know what? Falcon? I think the first time I did this, I gave Falcon an A. But since since we had Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I'm giving Sam an S. Because taking over as Captain America is big shoes to fill. And that whole show is more powerful than I think people realize. So, Nick Fury, easy S. Gamora? Gamora's a badass. I'm going to give Gamora an A. Yeah. What a dog shit character. Um, the cat from Captain Marvel ended up being that little thing, right? I'd give it a C, but I'm going to give it a B for cuteness. Uh, God, I forgot Jeff Goldblum's character's name. Yeah, that's what I said. His name's his name's Floos and he's a Glurkin. Exactly. I forgot his character's name. The Grandmaster, right? He's just the Grandmaster. Huh. Anyways, love Jeff Goldblum's character in Thor Ragnarok. Eh, really great, actually. Uh, I'll give it a B. I want to see more of it. I want to see more. Hank Pym, the original Ant-Man. We haven't seen a bunch of him yet. In the what if, we see the way it's actually supposed to be, right? Even though they put a twist on the character he's supposed to be in the MCU. I think we'll see more soon. But I think right now we'll, we'll, we'll go with a B. Happy Hogan? I'm going to give Happy Hogan an A for the role that he plays in mentoring not only kind of Tony Stark, but now Peter Parker. So Happy Hogan, easily an A. Could almost be an S, but I'm going to give him an A. Hawkeye? People shit on Hawkeye so much. Literally, the Avengers are undefeated with Hawkeye. I want to put that out there. Undefeated with Hawkeye. undefeated the s tier when, when was he not there think about it when he wasn't there they lost easy s tier fuck fuck the hawk i hate heimdall easy a i got a pocket got a pocket full of sunshine i got a love and i know easy a for heimdall uh yeah i just there was a really cool theory about Heimdall's eyes being orange, that that would end up being where the soul stone was located because he could see all the lives and see all the see all the souls and see through all the eyes of like the nine realms. That would have been a really cool soul stone thing, but they they did what they had to do. But uh, Idris Elba is a global icon and a national treasure. I'm going to give Hella Ella Ella A an A because she showed up she made herself known. She wrecked Asgard. And then the only person that could destroy her is 
fucking asserter. So I like the theory too. I think it would have been really cool to, for that for him to see all the souls. Like that was the, the look into it. And in Thor's vision, he was blind saying like, like this will be the end of all of us. And it showed the infinity gauntlets. So Howard the duck is a, is a fantastic character, but Seth green, you get a C. All right. We'll go walk the doggy. Okay. you be safe. Uh, Howard Stark. We don't get enough of Howard Stark throughout the MCU. I'm just going to give him a C. He's a, the dude that plays him is fun. The younger version, the older version. He's obviously an instrumental part of the MCU, but just like he's not on screen that much. Oh, yeah. Kate, Kate's been a babe. We all know that. Tony S. I mean, look what. I honestly thought that their last name was Van Dyke. Until recently, I learned that it's Van Dyne. My whole life, I thought it was Van Dyke. Um, I'll give her a C as well. She hasn't done anything yet, but I feel like she will. This is Justin Hammer, right? Give him a C. Is that Justin Hammer or is that little buddy? Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Um... Give him a D, actually. I'm going to give Keklios a C as well. I'm going to give this fucker from Iron Man 3 a D because he tried. Actually, I'm going to give him an S. I fucking hate that character. Killmonger, easy S. Right? Easily. It's a great birthday party. See you later. All right, Scott Scraper. Have a good day. Um... Uh, I really hate when things leave me like this. I'm looking at Smeagol right now, and I'm like, why can't I think of anything? I've almost said his name three times. Literally one of my favorite fucking actors. Andy Serkis. Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't see that sneak in. Jesus Christ, my brain. Give it a C. Holy shit. Claw. C for Claw. Holy fuck. Nazare TV. Baby, what's up, Naz, brother? Uh, this guy from Guardians of the Galaxy, he was fun. Uh, Korg, listen, all right, I'm cool. This is Meek. Korg's an S tier, and you can argue with your mother. Uh, Craglin, right? Sean Gunn, I'll give him a C too. He'll get better now that he's got now that he has Yondu's thing, he'll get he'll get better. Listen, Loki, I'm not wasting time on it. It's S tier. Duh. Little buddy from uh, Ant-Man's an A tier. Because the way he recaps. <clears throat> this motherfucker from Ragnarok. Uh, Mantis? Mantis is super strong, but I... She's so wholesome. I'm going to give Mantis a B. Cortana play half here by Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> Maria Hill also gets a B. Uh, fucking almost said his real name. Winston Duke. Mbaku. I'm going to give Mbaku a B. It's a great character. I think he's only going to get better. I forgot his name. More dude. Dude from um, Doctor Strange. He'll be back and he'll be a lot better character, but for now, C tier. Is that Shiri? Easy A. Nebula? I'm gonna put Nebula in A too. Yeah. Why is it unfortunate? Why isn't it unfortunate? I'm glad you have the beanie on now. I do too. The unfortunate circumstance. Poor Crippy, simping over an internet man. I'm married, okay? Ned? I would give Ned... Ned's a great friend. I'm gonna give Ned an A just because I love him. Married to the grind. Odin? Odin's also an A. I was gonna do S, but... We never actually got to see Odin's, like, 
true powers, and that kind of sucks. Make us a little bit smaller. Uh, Ogre from Black Panther, she's a badass. A tier. Groot is an S tier. Some of these we don't have to waste time on. Uh, is that is that is that Peggy Carter? Uh, what the fuck would I give Peggy Carter? I'm gonna give Peggy a B. Naz calls me Peggy sometimes. Pepper Potts. I'm gonna give Pepper an A. Sorry, I can't. I want to put her in an S tier, but I can't. Uh, this is little brother from uh, God damn, he was in one of the movies, and I think he's like the president or something. And Black Black Widow made her face his face. Quicksilver, middle of the line B tier. Red Skull was kind of cool. Rocket Raccoon, A tier. Ronan the Accuser should have been a much better character. I'm going to give Ronan a D. Iron Man 3 was the worst movie. Uh, Iron Man 3 is the third worst movie. The only thing worse is Dark World and fucking Incredible Hulk. Scarlet Witch, come on now. What a what a queen. Oh wait, there's Shuri. Oh, that was that was his uh that was Black Panther's love interest. Can't remember what she did in the movie. I'm gonna drop her to a B and I'm gonna give Shiri the A. Um is this is this Sif? This might be Sif. Sif gets an S. I don't know. She's just here. Little buddy, he gets the... Fucking, we listen. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Great. I just rewatched the first three Spider-Man movies. Great. I love it. Star-Lord. People, listen. You all really give... People out in the world give Star-Lord a lot of shit because of the events that took place in Infinity War. I don't think people... He had to do what he did in order for everything else to play out okay we learn this from dr strange himself and from the entire loki show he had to do what he had to do it had to happen was it a shitty thing yes but it had to happen i like him i like star lord a tier not you're not getting an s from me but you get an a tier I'm super excited about Ironheart. Thanks for the lurk, Naz. Love you, brother. Doctor Strange, S tier. Put you at a B. Taser face. I'm going to put Taser face at a C just for being funny. Another Groot. S tier. Thanos. S tier. Thor. S tier. Fucking Red Hulk. He's been around a while. Thunderbolt Ross has done his thing. B tier. The Mandarin character that they flopped on us is shitty. Trash. Ultron. Get shit on. A tier. I don't know why people give Ultron a lot of shit. Movie's not that great. But Spader as Ultron, phenomenal. Valkyrie, A. She'll be up higher soon. Vision gets an S. Fucking the Vulture gets an S easily. Easily one of the coolest villains we've had in a long time. War Machine, Rhodey. I'm going to give Rhodey a strong A. I don't think he's, he's S material just yet. The Wasp. She hasn't done shit, really. Uh... I want to see my boy Whiplash. Give Whiplash a D. Black Widow. Easy S. Wong. Wong be fucking bouncing, bro. I'm gonna put Wong in a B. B for bounce, because when shit gets weird, he's out. Yondu. Okay. Like it or love it. This may be a little controversial. Yondu gets an S from me. Because he has one of the coolest powers 
and in his final moments with Peter Quill. I love it. I love everything about Yondu. Thank you, Michael Rilker, for being an amazing actor. This fuck nugget from Captain Marvel, uh, Baron Zemo. I'll give Baron Zemo a B. Yellow Jacket. I'll give Yellow Jacket a C. I'm going to give all the children of Thanos a B because they were good, but they have more potential than we want to admit. They could have been a lot cooler, honestly. Jeff Bridges in the first Iron Man is going to get a strong A for me. One of the best villains. Fucking oh girl, I can't agent 13. B, they're C tier characters. Okay, creepy. Listen here, you little shit. Ebony Maw, Black Dwarf, Corvus Glaive, and goddamn, goddamn, right? Proxima Midnight. Ebony Maw is so fucking powerful. Just the most potential. They could have been better characters. Crippy, again, make your own list. Or we can throw hands. I love you, but we'll have to throw hands. God, they put Stan Lee on here. Is this Tony Stank? Aunt May? I'm going to give this Aunt May a B. I love her, but it, it's a B. Uh, oh, girl from Guardians. We still have yet to see Adam Warlock. Um... Give her a B. I'll give T.I. T.I.'s character was interesting. T.I.'s been a shitty human recently. I'll give him a D. Fucking Flash. Flash in the MCU. I'll also give him a B. I'll give these peeps C. I'm going to give Natalie Portman a B for her potential. Because when she becomes Lady Thor, it's going to be lit. Jarvis? Dude, Jarvis gets an A. Off principle. This fucking thing was garbage. C tier. Uh, she has a lot of potential. She hasn't reached yet. Meek. Listen, we gave Korg. Well, I put Korg at an A, right? I gave Korg an S. We're going to give Meek an A then. Because he's Meek. I'm Korg. This is Meek. Jonte, I'm amused you think you'd win any fight ever. You know? What another bad character. Oh my god, MJ in the MCU. An A. We haven't seen her full potential yet. I love almost gave her an S just because it's Zendaya. Uh little buddy. This guy was crucial to the first Avengers. Give him a C. I don't even know why they're putting Stallone's character on here. He hasn't done anything yet. C. This traitor's little bastard. And then Mysterio gets an S. All right. So here. This shit is difficult, right? This is stupid difficult. This is just the MCU, by the way. But auto lock, right? Tony Stark is the creator of the MCU. He's the person it all started with in 2008, and he's the person it ended with in 2019. Okay? Tony Stark is and forever will be the backbone of the MCU. And we love him, and we miss him, and Robert Downey Jr. got the role of a lifetime. Second auto lock is Thanos. And the reason it's Thanos, at the end of Avengers in 2012, everything else set in motion led to Thanos. Everything's prior did too, but everything led in motion to Thanos with the Infinity Stones, with the big heist and the big hunt and the overarching big bad. If not, Thanos is the person that sent Loki to Earth. 
Thanos is the person that sent his children to go collect these stones. Thanos is the person that wiped out half of the universe. Thanos in Guardians. Thanos popping up in after credit scenes. Everything was set in motion leading to the big bad that is Thanos. He's a bad mother lover. Now, from there, I'm going to put Captain America. We're going to put Steve Rogers in Captain America because he is the first Avenger. Captain America, the first Avenger. He was the glue, really, to keep the team together. He's the one that told Tony Stark, you're not the guy to lay down the line and make somebody else whatever the fuck you said, you know? You're not the one to make the sacrifice play. The two divisions, the two polar heads of this entire MCU is Tony and Steve, is Iron Man and Captain America. We saw it with Civil War. We saw it going forward. Their bond, their brotherhood, their friendship in game ends with the death of Tony Stark and the farewell to Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America. Now we have one slot. You feel like Nat was the glue of the group? Loki being the first big bad and where we're at now with Loki, you could put that he's going to be the overarching, like, I don't know, he's just extremely important. But let's be real. There would be no Marvel Cinematic Universe. There would be no MCU. There would be no Tony Stark. There would be no Iron Man. There would be no Hulk, Captain America. There would be no X-Men, That not in the MCU, but granted. There would be no Marvel if it wasn't for Stanley, young Stan Lee. I love him. We cherish him. And it's beautiful. We love Stan Lee. We miss him. He's not going to get to see the greatest Spider-Man movie ever made, but that's okay. I love him dearly. Stan's cameos are top tier. That's the only other person you could put there. We have the the two backbones, the big villain and the creator, basically the, the Watcher. And I think that is that is the Mr. Goat, that is the Mount Rushmore, and that is the greatest of all time. Why are you so short-winded? Huh? Work on your conversational skills, you know. Steve's journey from start to finish is just amazing to watch. He truly deserved his happy ending. I agree with you. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Um, so any adjustments, I would, could I, I could move one person to S tier. 